Hey guys, what's up? In this Anime Defenders video, we are going to be showing you guys everything you need to know when starting out in Anime Defenders. But before we do that guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. One lucky subscriber that comments on this video is going to be winning a shiny sharpshooter mythic unit. Good luck guys. So starting off guys, there's not a ton we can do. The raids aren't available until level 20. Tower of Eternity isn't available until level 30. Portals aren't available until level 20. Trading's not available until level 15. So we're gonna have to focus on the units we have right now or summon new ones. You're gonna start off with 200 diamonds. I would definitely recommend using those 200 diamonds to summon some new units. So we're gonna check out the challenges right now. To join a challenge, you have to beat the level in story mode. So Crystal Caves is the last map. So as a new player, you're not gonna be able to do that. Blue Planet's also further on in the story. I just wanna give a huge shout out to Bloxcart.com for sponsoring this video. Bloxcart.com is a Roblox marketplace where you can buy anime defenders units and gems for cheap prices. They are huge in games like Murder Mystery 2 and Toilet Tower Defense. Lucky for us, they just opened up an Anime Defenders page as well. Bloxcart helps thousands of customers daily and are the most trustworthy website to purchase Roblox items from. So to show you guys just how easy it is to get the items you want for Anime Defenders, we're gonna make a purchase. You know what? I've had trouble getting a secret in this game, so we're gonna filter by secrets. So let's go with the gamer here. Remember to use code ROBO for a 10% discount on your purchase. After we've bought our unit, we simply put in our Roblox username and friend the bot that pops up. So we've joined the Bloxcart bot in the trading plaza. We just have to wait the mandatory 40 seconds before we can trade. And there's the trade request. There it is guys, the gamer that we ordered. That took about five minutes from when we purchased it to when we got the unit. That was insanely fast. Just remember guys, you do have to be level 15 in Anime Defenders to trade. So thank you to BlossomCart.com for sponsoring the video. Use code ROBO for a 10% discount. So as a new player, what do we do? Well, we're gonna have to grind through the story mode. So as a new player on your first clear, you're gonna get a bonus in gems. Your first clear is gonna be 110 gems plus another 80 gems as a bonus. So you're gonna wanna use those to summon new units. And let's stick in the summon area for a little bit and go through all of these different things that we can do inside the summon area. The rank rerolls. You're gonna wanna pick a good unit for these. Don't waste your frost binds or your reroll dice unless your worthiness is close to 100%. We can see my Cursed Knight cooldown is S, so we are going to use a Frostbind, and that's going to lock the S in, so we won't be rolling the cooldown. However, if we use a reroll dice, we will be rerolling damage and the range, because they are not locked in with Frostbinds. So let's go ahead right now and try it out. Our worthiness right now is 81.7. The higher the worthiness, the better chances of you getting a higher rank. So our range went up, our damage went down. Frostbind and reroll dice are available in the battle pass, in challenges, and as daily quest rewards. The daily quest will reset every 24 hours. There's also weekly quests that reset every seven days, infinite quests that you can do daily, and if you have VIP unlocked, you can also get bonus gems and bonus items from completing VIP quests. All right, the next thing in the summoning area is evolving. If you wanna see what you need to evolve a unit, just click that unit and it'll tell you sky splitting bow, two of them. Now that we know what we need to craft, we can go to the crafting area. You can see the sky splitting bow here. We do have everything we need to craft these. However, I'm not going to because I would never use this unit anymore. And we can see the cost of 13,000 yen. Now, yen is obtainable from selling units from summons. We can see in the bottom left of the summon banner that there is an auto sell. So since my team is already pretty good, I'm gonna auto sell rare epics and legendaries. summon 10 and we're gonna see that these are being auto sold now and we're gaining yen by doing it we can also get money from challenges and story modes next up is trade rerolls guys traits are very important in the game 
you can see Brawler increases damage, Swiftness increases cooldown, Hunter increases range. If you want to see what every trait does, go to see chances and it'll explain it to you. You can get trait crystals from challenges, infinite mode, and by completing daily quests and battle pass quests. Alright spirits guys, spirits were just added recently. They're just another way to make your units more powerful. They range from golden spirit which is the easiest to get. You just get more money per turn. All the way to true spirit where you can actually increase your units damage by 75%. We have spirits that reduce movement in enemies. Divine spirit will actually make them walk backwards every 30 seconds. So to get spirits you can get them almost anywhere. Challenges, raids, portals, infinite mode. Alright, let's keep going. There's exclusive wishes right now. You can get the wishes in the Hall of Mirrors, which is an insanely, insanely boring game mode. I don't recommend it. There is also wishes given to you in the Battle Pass. So when we're trying to craft stuff, guys, you'll see star rifts that we need. Blue, green, purple, or red, as well as light star rift, rainbow star rift, and dark star rift. These can be obtained in challenges. We got a challenge here that will give us a risky dice and a frost pine. And another challenge that will drop portals. These change every hour, so make sure you keep an eye on them. When you do hit level 30, you unlock Tower of Eternity. However, I haven't really delved too deep into Tower of Eternity at the moment. There's too much other stuff going on in this game. So when we do hit level 20 and we unlock portals, if you complete a rare portal, it has a chance to drop an epic portal. If you complete an epic portal, it has a chance to drop a legendary portal. And if you complete a legendary portal, it has a chance to drop a mythic portal. Now, the mythic portals have a very small chance to drop a secret portal. And if you're the host of one of those secret portals, you will 100% get a secret unit from that portal if you complete the portal. So when we go into our trading area, guys, we can see the wrap charts here. Claim your booth, we're gonna have to use recapture. It's kind of a pain in the butt, especially if you just hopped in and you found a pretty good deal and then you go to buy it and you have to put in the recapture, but it keeps the bots down, so that's all that matters. We're able to sell units and items. However, we can't trade the dark, rainbow, or light star rifts. So we can only sell secrets, exclusive units, limited units, and shiny units. We'll go back to the summoning area here and just a heads up, super lucky and lucky do not stack. So don't buy both of them at the same time. If you do get a shiny unit guys, you can equip their skin by clicking on the unit and going over to their picture in the right side here, either just equipping their weapon and equipping their entire skin. Much better. Okay guys, so that is pretty much everything you're gonna need to know to get started in Roblox Anime Defenders. Remember, it's going to be a lot of story grinding at first. It's pretty much the only thing you're going to focus on. Story grinding, summoning, and quests to start off. This will help you to level up to level 20 pretty quickly. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for your chance to win your very own shiny sharpshooter. Good luck guys. Take care.